what's up art lovers i am nirma in today's tutorial we will be doing a miniature artwork of flamingo so let's find our inner artist yes you can do it grab your colors and paint brushes let's get started check out my description box for materials if you do not have specific colors that's okay you can go with similar colors at least 140 gsm paper is needed I am using 300 GSM, Brustos 25% cotton, cold pressed artist watercolor sheets. I have already used these sheets, so these sheets are really really good. We will be doing this tiny flamingo. I did this on 130 GSM sheet. Okay. Uh, it measures roughly around 3.5 cm into 3.5 cm. You can cut the sheets according to your convenience. Lately I was exploring this watercolor medium and uh, it is the most beautiful medium. I get carried away with the movement of colors with water. It just gives a soothing that meditative effect to the mind. So it's kind of like yoga the mind so you can also check my other flamingo watercolor artwork which is in the description box place a tissue paper so today i'll be using as i said 300 gsm bristol's watercolor cold press sheet which is 25 percent cotton so i have cut it into 3.5 centimeter into 3.5 centimeter let me take my watercolors so i'll be using this uh, scarlet 118 and then gambage hue 113 viridian hue 161 okay i have already put it in my watercolor palettes so scarlet viridian green and gambage hue Add water to your watercolors. Now I'm taking my round three paint brush and I'm taking a bit of lighter shade of uh, scarlet color and I'm now drawing the head and the neck part which looks like other side of yes alphabet yes and now here it goes the body of the flamingo. You have to take a very lighter shade. I am not letting this dry completely, uh, before that itself I am just taking a darker version of scarlet color again and I am using it to the lower part of the body and also a little bit to the head part. To do lighter shade you have to use more water to your color and to do the darker shade you have to use a less water. Okay, I am adding the same like shade darker shade of the color to the upper part of the body of the flamingo wow i just love that color how it came now i feel that there is an excess of watercolor in that area so i'm just taking the same brush number three and just uh, wiping it away okay again i'm using a darker shade of scarlet color to the head area until I get a desired desired uh, output so you have to keep on doing it so I am just lightening down the lower part of the body I am just waiting for the colors to get settled a little bit not completely Now I have taken triple zero brush to add more details, okay. To the head part as well as to the slowly down to the lower part. So I am just keeping this to settle down. Until then, I will be doing the background. So, I am going to wet a part of a background. 
and just loading a brush with the gambage hue okay slowly and I have used number three brush okay a little bit of mortar here and there and now I have added viridian a little bit yes and just I am I am just mixing it up look at that color I think it is a little bit excess so I am just taking my tissue paper to wipe out the excess yes I am using a viridian on that and drawing a small spots here and there meanwhile again green just spots taking out the hard edges again green until I get satisfied okay let it bit for a dry not completely but again I'm adding a bit of green here and there bit darkening the spots yes okay so I'm just keeping it to settle down a bit and I'm taking now triple zero brush with scarlet color a darker version and giving more details here and there just to the lower part of the body and then upper part of the body and a lower part of the head and the neck slowly bit more details yeah. you have to be very careful while holding this paper okay now I am adding gambage hue to a little bit the center and let it mix with the scarlet color I find it bit excessive so I'm just wiping it off a bit again with triple zero brush I'm just spreading the color be careful there are certain white parts of the bird and we need that okay so I'm taking a scarlet color again to the head portion I felt a bit more excessive okay once again to keep on doing until you get the exact output so I'm just trying to find a proper shade until I get it done right okay
slowly slowly if you have reached till here yes you are your flamingo is 50% done okay you can do it you have to keep on doing this until you get a desired output you should be very very careful in holding the small piece of paper because already there are colors so you do, should not smudge it up and to wipe out the hard edges you just add water so that it gives a splashy effect to the background that is our intention okay slowly you have to be more patient while doing the watercolor can't just rush and now i will be drawing carefully the leg of the flamingo first one leg in the center and then a little bit of triangle again in the same spot in the center and in the side view or kind of triangle and here it goes one leg is above and another leg is on the floor and now the beak of the flamingo there goes the eyes make sure it is bit dried okay be careful with the edges when you draw the beak and the legs for flamingo again i am just adding some more details for the neck okay here it goes yes a little bit of detail to the feathers now it is getting into shape yeah a little bit of scarlet color to the leg area the above part of the leg where the leg starts yeah a little bit of more color here and there again some more details now our flamingo is getting into shape a little bit right initially you will face this ugly face of painting okay so you should not get upset at that time you have to just move on you have to paint okay only after that ugly face only your painting will get into shape and you will know when you have to stop your painting okay so i am adding some more details now see i think i am okay with it i am letting it dry so after drying a little bit little more drying is needed so i am satisfied with this uh, artwork so i am just signing it so here is my tiny mr flamingo I'm happy with it. You can lighter the background. My background became a bit more brighter. It's all left to you, like how you want to paint the background. Okay. You can just leave it white itself. That is also fine. So our flamingo is done. Now this is after drying. If you try this tutorial don't forget to share it with me so that I will update in my art page on Facebook and Instagram. And also if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification. Don't forget to follow and like on my Instagram and Facebook art page. Art Hugs and Peace. Namaste. <laughs>
September we met. 